a nation of dog lovers, which means that almost anywhere you walk your dog, you're going to meet other dogs. But part of being a responsible owner is making sure these interactions are positive ones. One of the main complaints I hear is about people who let their dogs run over to others who may be on a lead or walking quietly, usually with their owner shouting after them, don't worry, he's friendly. <laughs> and then somehow they're surprised if your dog doesn't welcome this unexpected and probably unwanted interaction. Put this in a human context. Imagine if you were in a supermarket and someone you'd never met before came bounding over to you and started trying to interact with you and even hugging you. You'd feel intimidated, annoyed, and probably scared. Dogs are exactly the same. There are some dogs who love meeting new dogs, whatever the situation, and love to interact and play with everybody. But these are the minority. Most dogs are just like us. We love our own friends and those we know, but we don't welcome approaches from strangers. Other dogs are not so social with other dogs at all, and that's fine too. While socialization is vitally important, you shouldn't expect that that means your dog will love every other dog. Socialization is to teach your dog to be confident and happy to listen to you when there are other dogs around. So when you're out on walks and you meet someone with another dog who's on a lead or who's walking quietly beside their owner, don't let your dog go over to them. They'll probably be on lead for a reason. They might not be happy around other dogs, they might be training, or they might just not want to be bothered by strange dogs. Call your dog back, put them on the lead if you need to, and walk past quietly. This doesn't mean your dog doesn't get to play with other dogs though. Having doggy friends to play with can be a joy for those dogs who enjoy canine company. But introduce them quietly and slowly. So start by meeting out on a walk so you're on neutral territory and keep both dogs on the lead, but just walk side by side. Don't aim for any play or any interaction because dogs should never be introduced to each other on a lead because they can't show that natural approach and retreat body language that's so important for dogs when they're getting to know each other. So this way, they'll get used to each other's company without any pressure to interact. They'll have a chance to watch and smell each other and you'll get a good idea if they're going to be friends. Then if this goes well, plan another meeting somewhere safe and secure where after another short walk, you can let the quietest or the less confident of the two dogs off lead. And then just watch their reactions. Are they both happy and giving friendly body language to each other? If so, you can go on to have both of them off the lead together, but keep watching them. Is any play equal? I mean, dogs can play quite roughly, but there should be a balance between the chaser and the chasee, and they should be taking turns about. If games seem to be getting too rough or one-sided, pull them back, give them a treat, and let them settle for a bit. Even if play is going well, call them back frequently for a treat, so they learn to listen to you even when they're with their friends. Once your dogs are happy in each other's company, you can begin to meet in other locations, but do remember that dogs who get on well out and about might have a different opinion if their friend comes onto their territory. And remember never to let your dog off the lead around others unless you can reliably call them back to you.